Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I don't have any dreams or messages to share today, so I will only share the word from the Bible reading. I feel like to bring this up today because we are waiting for Jesus to return. And as I always said, that Jesus comes for the true believers, the bride of Christ, and not all who call themselves Christian will be raptured. The standard for rapture is high, because when rapture takes place, we must be found pure, spotless, without blemish, and we don't know when it will happen, so it needs endurance and faithfulness to stay in this narrow path until Jesus comes. Brothers and sisters, during this week, I arrived at the book of Matthew of my Bible reading. I read a lot about, about Jesus, about his teaching and his miracles, signs and wonders. There are some verses or words from Jesus that caught my attention during the reading. In the past, I have read these verses many times, but they didn't catch my attention like now. These verses are about repentance. Brothers and sisters in Christ, during his ministry on earth, Jesus preached about repentance many times. I will share the verses so we know for sure that Jesus preached about repentance because there are some people twisted the scripture and saying that Jesus never tell people to repent to be saved. Let us read from Matthew chapter 11 verse 20 to 24. Woe to unrepentant towns. Then Jesus began to denounce the towns in which most, most of his miracles have had been performed because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in Sackleth and Asis. But I tell you, it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be lifted to the heavens? No, you will go down to Hades. For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Sodom, it would have remained to this day. But I'll tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, from here we know that the main purpose of all miracles, signs, and wonders that Jesus performed is for people to repent. The meaning of repentance here is turning from sins because it is said in Sackleth and Asses. So when Jesus said to them, Woe to you, those are the strong words from Jesus. <clears throat> and do we think that these unrepentant people will be saved and go to heaven? If they continue in their unrepentant ways, they are not saved. Let us also read from Matthew chapter 12, verse 28 to 42. The sign of Jonah. Then some of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law said to him, Teachers, we want to see a sign from you. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the signs of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with his with this generation and condemn it, for they have repented at the preaching of Jonah, and now something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for she came for, from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom, and now something greater than Solomon is here. Brothers and sisters, in verse 41, Jesus referred to Nineveh. So repentance that Jesus speaks here is repentance from sins and wickedness. Let us also read from Jonah chapter 1. We read from verse 1 and 2 only. Jesus, Jonah flees from the Lord. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. So it is clear, brothers and sisters, that Nineveh is called to repent from the wickedness. Brothers and sisters in Christ, don't be deceived. We said that we believe in Jesus, that he died for our sins, buried and rose on the third day. We believe that his blood can clean us from all our sins that we have done. How can his blood clean us if we don't come to him in repentance? 
For an example, if we buy a machine or equipment to help us, we say that we believe this machine can help us to do the work. But then we don't use the machine or the equipment to do our work, thus the machine becomes useful for us. Brothers and sisters, this machine symbolizes the blood of Jesus. If we say that we believe that the blood of Jesus can wash away our sins, but we don't come to him in repentance when we sin, thus the blood of Jesus will save us or will it bring us to salvation. So it, it is not just a slogan that we say with our mouth that we believe in him, but it should be the active act, something we should do according to what we believe. Brothers and sisters, the real faith in Jesus is the active faith, the faith that produces the good deeds and transformation in our life through the Holy Spirit. So we must be careful when listen to the message that we are saved by faith, faith alone or faith plus nothing. If nothing here means that we have to do nothing, just say we believe and we don't need to produce the good fruit or don't need to repent or, or live holy and righteous life. Don't need to have a relationship with Jesus or submit to him. Don't need to obey him or keep his commandments. This is not the real faith, but the empty faith, and this kind of faith cannot save us. Brothers and sisters, if we believe in the, this false gospel, we need to repent. This kind of faith plus nothing, not equals salvation, but it equals to damnation and will end up in hell. So being the true believers is not about saying the sinner's prayers and then continue to live like unbelievers and then saying that we will surely go to heaven. But being the true believers is about the relationship with Jesus. Do we know and obey his word and his commandments? Do we want to submit to him and let him be the Lord in our life? And do we have the encounter with him? That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this can help us to prepare. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready and keep watching. Keep praying. If you have any comments, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can share it in the comment section or, or send an email to me. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters. And thank you for listening. Bye.